Brief Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. So today we're talking the MXM module and what kind of cool stuff you can do with it. What's going on guys, Dev from Reef Dudes. So you probably caught my live stream last week with Paul, but just in case you didn't, um, the MXM module is now released and it's kind of like the upgrade version of the WXM module that used to be for to control the Ecotech stuff via Neptune. Now, with the current version, it controls all the Bluetooth stuff, which is what all Mobius is based on. So if you do have it, it can control all of your Ecotech and your AI pumps and lights. Um, no, it does not do the Versas yet, but it does all, anything that's like the wave pump. So you got your Neros, your MP10, 40s, 60s. Um, you got your Radeons, your 5th, 6th gen Radeons. You got your AIs, your Primes, your Blades. I believe the Souls might even be in there, all that type of stuff. So basically, any type of your Ecotech AI pumps and lighting can be controlled by it. So what are kind of the funky use cases you can do for it? So actually, a lot of the things I've done so far has mainly been in the office tank. You can go that, to that one in a minute. Um, I have certain functions like, you know, live stream mode where I push a button and it, you know, turns my lights to white, you know, it turns off the blades, it turns off my skimmer, all that type of stuff. Um, I have a photo mode, which is one that a lot of people ask about. So I know with the skies, they have their photo mode where you turn on photo mode, it whitens up your lights and makes it easier to photograph it. Very, very easy to do a very similar thing with the Radeon. So if you want different profiles for different things. Um, a really cool one, one of the experts did was they changed the lights to red for an alarm mode, which I think is brilliant. So like, let's try setting that one up right now and let's give it, a, I'll show you guys how to do it. So we go into settings and we create a new profile. You profile three, we're gonna call this Radeon alarm. And for this one, we're gonna select our Radeons and we're gonna turn our lights to red. So to do this, let's say 10% red. All right, so we got our radium alarm profile. Now we're gonna create a virtual outlet. This is what's gonna trigger it. So now we go into our outlets and we're gonna create a new virtual outlet and let's we'll call this red alert. We want into the lighting profile. Now, this is my current Reef Dude schedule that I put in here, and I did share this within Fusion. So if you have Radeon Pros, it should show up for you. If you want to use my schedule, just look for Reef Dudes, it should show up in there. Go to the gear, go to advanced, paste. There we go. Now, if that profile's on, it should kick it over. So now if we go back to our red alert mode this time. There we go, it takes a second to update itself. There you go, our tank's all red. So that's like a really cool way. You're like, okay, something drastic's happened. Make the tank red. Really cool way to do an alarm mode. So shout out, I think it, was it Kevin, Jeff, one of you guys? Appreciate you for that idea, it's a brilliant one. Now another common thing for me, um, again, very similar thing for profile. For um, like a photo mode or you want a blues mode, you don't want to show off your tank. You make a profile with like the blues, white, whatever you want and kick that in. Now, another use case for me is I want to create one for when I'm watching movies. I have a projector in the room and you want to reduce the tank spill light. So I'm going to make another profile. It's just going to work for my movie mode. So let's pick one of these. Go back to Radeons. And we're going to call this movie mode. Just some very dim blues. So let's do a little bit. Let's do about 5% white, 5% blues, 5% UV. This should give it a pretty, pretty dim glow, I think. So we'll do this one. Now, we'll again, very similar thing, create a virtual outlet. So virtual outlets are super duper handy because they allow you to do kind of extra code for things. So virtual outlet, we're just gonna call this movie mode. Okay, so we got our new switch now for movie mode. We go into our Radeon schedule. If I put movie mode is on, then we got our Radeon movie. Okay, so we got our profile made. Now one thing that can happen, you might turn on a mode and forget to turn it off. So for example, on our movie mode, we're gonna put out a when statement. So it'll shut itself off after a certain period of time. So I'm gonna say when on for say three hours, so 180 minutes, then off. So after three hours, it'll turn this profile off and then it'll go back to normal. So you don't forget about it and leave your tank in like a dim movie mode. All right, so that's programmed. Now if we flip on our movie mode, should dim the lights.
And there you go. So we've got nice super dim mode. It's not going to mess with the projector. Still see the tank. But again, it's not overly bright and blinding. So really cool ways to do it. Now let's go check out the office tank, see some of the stuff that had going on there. Now most of these ones I've set up with physical buttons and I really do like this. Um, first of all, of course, we've got our feed mode, so we'll turn the return pump down to a lower percentage. Same thing, using a profile like we just did with the lights. Um, it also turns off the skimmer for X amount of time and then ramps everything back up. Uh, the next big one, I got live stream mode. Now this one turns my lights to a very white profile. Because again, I got a green wall and green screening and the blue on it messes with my green screening. So having it turn to a white kind of blends it in and then my green screen works nicely. So it turns all the lights to a nice warm profile. Again, also turns off my skimmer to reduce any noise in the room. Um, MP40 is off. Same thing if I'm doing a bit of maintenance, it shuts off my MP40s. Um, blues on, this kicks into a blue mode. You can, you want to show off all the fluorescence of your coral, kicks on the blues. And then this one is a top down mode. So what this one does, is it turns the MP40s down to like 5%. Like they're just very slowly moving. So there's still motion in the tank, but it's not gonna create all the surface ripples. And again, it also turns the lights really blue. So it gives you those like really beautiful top down views. And then skimmer off, that just turns the skimmer off for maintenance. But again, same thing. Um, a lot of people ask about photo mode. It's the very same thing. It's create a whiter profile and just push a button. Again, you know, your like turns, tank turns like whiter, warmer, whatever is friendly for your camera. And the cool thing is you could hold your camera up and you could kind of tune in the color so it looks good with your camera and then save that as a profile. Then one flick and you've got something that's already, you know, cell phone or whatever you're using for camera friendly. So some of the really cool stuff you can do with the MXM module, since it's just kind of freshly released, I thought I'd share some of the stuff that I've been playing with for the last few months. Now, if you got any really cool things or hacks that you're doing, I'd love to hear about in the comments below. Let me know what other use cases you came up with. And again, guys, if you enjoyed this, hit, the, hit that like button. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. Catch you guys on the next video.